You are watching this video to acquire some information by seeing and listening through sensory organs. You are conscious of this entire process and you know you are conscious. But what is consciousness? Let's find out. But before we dive in, please click subscribe and click notification bell to get notified about our new videos. In general terms, consciousness refers to your individual awareness of your thoughts, memories and environment. At this moment, you may be watching this video and in the next moment, you may shift your thoughts and plan for a movie and in the another moment, you may think something else. Your experience of this ever-changing stream of thoughts is smooth and effortless, which is because of consciousness. Many scientists have unique approaches in defining and analyzing consciousness. One of which approach is by researcher Clearman's contrastive approach. His idea is to understand consciousness by comparing the two states of the brain. In one state, the brain is conscious and in the other, it lacks consciousness. To understand this, let's try an experiment. Now, the image on screen moves so quickly. Do you perceive it? This is the state where your brain is lack of consciousness. And now, the image on the screen moves slowly so that you can perceive it. Now, your brain is conscious of this image. According to Kleeman, we can understand the consciousness by comparing the activity of brain in these two cases. Neuroscientist Tononi and researcher Marcelo pioneered a technique called ZAP and ZIP technique to examine whether someone is conscious or not. In this technique, they sent an intense pulse of magnetic energy into the skull and they call it ZAP. They recorded these generated electrical signals by using a network of EEG sensors and zipped the entire data. The result of this data is the estimate of complexity of the brain's response, which is called perturbational complexity index, which helps us to understand the brain's response when you are awake or conscious. This method confirmed the behavioral evidence when conducted on a few volunteers. Modern researchers have proposed two theories which attempts to explain consciousness. Integrated Information Theory and the Global Workspace Theory. Integrated Information Theory attempts to explain consciousness based on our physical experiences and measures the integrated information that forms consciousness. This theory mainly focuses on the state and the level of the consciousness. The global workspace theory explains that to experience consciousness, the brain draws information from a memory bank and processes this information to form consciousness. Even though we have many techniques and theories to prove consciousness, we clearly have a long way to go in our understanding the concept. Thanks for watching.